Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe. Caffeine. Good morning. Actually, it's two o'clock. That's <laughs> just, yeah, fuck, I just barely rolled out of bed. Usually my rule is anything past five o'clock is my limit to not drink caffeine. So I'm still good. It's two o'clock right now, so I'm fine. I want to make a quick like weekend video because everything was closed from the pandemic. You know, a lot of the shit that me and my girlfriend we like to do in the weekends or just during the weekend or whatever we feel like is go to theme parks. We got Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm nearby here, right? Disneyland is more of a, you go and sure you enjoy the parades and the rides and other good stuff, right? It's, it's an environment that's fun to be at, right? Um, however, the thing about Knott's and uh, yesterday we went to Knott's Berry Farm, right? We went both to Soak City and to um, Nasberry Farm itself, right? It's been nice. Like uh, right now that you're going through like a system where like you're going through a reservation um, as me making this video, which is in you know July 2nd, right? But um, I think starting in August, they're gonna get rid of that. So you can be able to go in whenever you want, right? But. In the meantime, you're gonna have to get reservations if you wanna enter like the theme park. Now, the cool thing about Nas is basically that, uh, well, obviously it's not Disneyland, but that's what makes it cool is that Nas is definitely more of a hangout area. You know, I mean, yeah, the rides are fun and all this stuff like that, but Nas does a very good job of providing an environment where you can go with a group of friends and you just hang out and fuck around and they just provide a good environment to have fun and party. Especially during the summer, uh, they started doing this thing called Summer Nights. And actually it's one of my favorite uh, uh, times to go to Nas, very farm right when it comes to just hanging out and having fun and being you know maybe being a local you can go meet up with some friends and you can go to knots during like the summer nights and like it's a blast uh the main thing i like about going to knots during this time uh, during summer is that they just have music like constantly right and that's something i enjoy personally is having live music right uh they have two stages right they have a main stage that they kind of created about three years ago i think yeah it's fairly new right that's the main calico stage uh there they have like a main band that they're playing right so the cool thing is like when that band is over they have a second stage where they have another band play right that one's near like the bar which is like the calico saloon right they just alternate and in between those two bands when there's no live music being played they have a dj that they actually have like playing music right and like everybody's just having fun and just a blast it's like one thing after another it's like stage one music cool they gotta take a break there's another stage they can play music there cool those guys take a break. Oh, there's a DJ now. Cool. And it just keeps on going like that. It's like a rotation, right? So it's like nonstop music. That's a fucking blast, right? And the cool thing is like now uh, food tasting cars, it became more popular, right? In theme parks. I'm, I don't remember them having that. And they're offering that right now during like the, sun, the not summer nights was just basically a food card. They give, it's like a $45 uh, card. And like the, the portions for the food are pretty good, actually. They give you like actually full on plates. So they're not, not, they're not fucking like sample size, but you get like actual very well portioned food, right? So I mean, my girlfriend, we just split, split one. There's a salmon and pineapple. It's mango. Mango. And it's, uh, it's a shrimp. It's mm -hmm. jerk right. shrimp. Ooh. Also, like uh, in the main stage, because it's a summer night, they pretty much created an environment that was almost like a backyard field, right? They got like the overhead lights, you know, you got the benches there. And they also have like a little fire pit where like you can buy a s'more kit, you know, make some s'mores over like the fire where you're chilling to music and shit like that. <laughs> it's fucking fun. You know, I rarely eat those damn things, but usually when I go to uh, these summer nights, I like getting myself a s'more kit and make myself one. They're fun, right? Tastes good. I need some marshmallows that much, but fuck it, why not, right? But yeah, not summer nights. If uh, for whatever reason you come and visit like Southern California, you're near like Knott's Berry Farm, like uh, during the summertime, yeah, not summer nights is fun, right? Obviously compared to like Disneyland, Knott's is very small, right? But it is fun as fuck, right? And like I said, I think Nas is definitely more of a hangout area if you want to go with a good group of friends and just have fun, right? They, It's a fun place. I really love Nas. So anyways, that's all I have to say. Nas Berry Farm, uh, Summer Nights, one of my favorite events during the year, right? It's just, and I'm glad that things are starting to get back to normal to fucking enjoy life <laughs> by doing shit like that again, right? So, yeah. I already got my pass for fucking like Halloween Haunt and Nas Berry Farm, and obviously I'm going to film that shit. I want to share, you know, what I see when I go. Anyways, as I got to say, thanks for watching. I'm making these videos because I want to share with my friends and family and as well, you know, you guys that may have not had the chance to go visit Knott's Berry Farm, right? And so I want to be sure I want to share this with you <laughs> as much as I can, right? Anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for hanging out with me. Take care and peace.